all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i got a deep bloating application to show you guys so this is basically the successor of blow the nosy and also wind pilot they went back to their roots and updated uh older version of the xp software that it was using back in the days so this is basically what he's saying fd anti spy does exactly what bloody nosy did and it's the same developer guys so you can read this right here and i'll tell you exactly why they went back to the roots to their older application and updated for the new windows 11 or whatever's coming out in the future right so as you guys may know the bloating is good for your device if you're just playing just games and you want to keep your system running as smooth as possible and get rid of all the unwanted stuff that you're not using to keep your memory free and your device as i said before running smooth yeah guys if you're just playing video games you want to make sure you, you de bloat your device so it's called xd anti-spy and right here it tells you exactly what it's doing as i said before it's the same thing as bloody nosy or similar different interface but it does the same exact thing so when you come right here you click on this so this is the latest one right here it's called gotham x once you come in here guys you want to come right here hit this button let it download and then install it all right so when you get in here the app is simple all right so the first thing i want to show you is the feature where it could de all the applications that you're not using all on one stuff if you go to and press this arrow right here it brings up this other menu in the space bar right here you click down then you'll see this another section that says plugin de bloater then you have restart explorer you want to click on plugin de bloater click on that it's going to bring up all the unwanted stuff that's on your device that you could take off to de bloat your system and give you a smoother experience right while it's loading let's let it do its thing when it's done it says, it says check complete now you have all these stuff right here and it's saying that you can remove all these stuff because you don't need them on your device or for whatever reason you don't need them right so as you see bing news you can click that whatever you think you don't want or you're not using you click on it let's go through it one by one and then once you select it you hit remove application and app successfully removed and that's basically it so go through one by one you might have a lot more on your device if you never did this before so go through it one by one and see what you don't need anything you're not sure of sure of just make sure you check it out like on google or something just to be on the safe side and then you can remove it off your device and one thing you could do before you start doing anything guys just make sure you create a restore point so that if anything and you mess up on any application and you can't and you're not able to fix it because something goes wrong then you can just restore back to that point and you get everything back on your device so once that's done go back here now in here you could disable features that's on the device but these are stuff that you might not need to be running in your background and you could select them and then you just hit apply apply settings and then it will go into effect on your device so let's go through a few of them you got uh ad blocker most of them is selected so once you boot up the app for the first time it will automatically select some stuff for you and then you could disable it enable it if you want up to you guys let's go through it one by one as i said before so don't show copilot and taskbar you don't really need that don't allow windows to save snapshot of your screenshot you might need that if you want to take screenshots don't allow system wide snapshots so when you take a screenshot basically if you don't want it to be a system wide then you could disable that as well go down you got some privacy settings down here disable find my device you want to make sure you leave that on because you definitely might need that if you lose a device and you want to be able to find it you got disable running apps in the background that's already selected this is good you want to make sure this is selected so that not if you're just playing video games guy you don't really need this you don't really need stuff to be running in the background depending on what you're doing if you're recording and you have uh any type of recording software in the background running you might need this uh go down some more uninstall fox printer you can do this if you want if you're not using this stuff to do any type of printing or faxing then you could select that as well on the taskbar then you got some menus right here as well so once you feel like or whatever you think you have already and you think you want to disable it but these are features that's on the device that will help your system run as smooth as possible if you disable them then you just hit apply and then you'll be good everything is applied now and then once you apply guys then you should be good and remember i said before you want to make sure you create a restore point before you do anything just to be on the safe side guys right so you go in here type in restore go in there and create make a name for it and then hit create restore point so once you do that then you can go in and you can start playing with all the different features and stuff like that and then if there's any issue come back here and you just hit restore and restore back to that point guys and then you should be good so yeah guys so basically that's it thanks for tuning in as i said before 